I know I'm old fashioned. I still love a good mixed grill. I really do. My mate Booker had a restaurant in Sydney called Booker's and he did a mixed grill and he had it for a short time. It's a bit short of dosh. It needed a little bit more backing because it was a good restaurant and the mixed grill was fantastic. And actually, I must tell you a story. He rang me because he was in the advertising business and he's a bit of a guru in the advertising business. Apart from everything, he did that, that lovely ad for um, New Zealand tourism. I've forgotten what it was about, but anyway, it was a good ad. <laughs> anyway, I started to tell the story. Oh, he rings me one day and he just started a new job in Sydney in one of the big agencies. And he rang me and he said, I'm opening a restaurant. And, you know, there was a dead silence. And then he said, are you there? And I said, I've got my head in my hands. Because <laughs> the last thing I think he needed, it was a bit of a gore moment, you know, to open a restaurant. Anyway, so he opened this restaurant. And the reason he was leaving was because one of the bosses had said to him, I'd like to go out for lunch. Let's go out for lunch. And Booker said, yeah, great, because he's the old advertising guy. They went to lunch every day, you know, until five or six or seven o'clock at night. He had to tip them off the table if you were fully booked. Anyway... He says, oh, where shall we go for lunch? And he was actually thinking, this is Booker, he was thinking that maybe we should go to, uh, to um, Neil Perry's new place, which was just down the road. And the guy said, oh, there's a, there's a food court that we like. And Booker said, I am surrounded by Philistines. <laughs> so he left and opened the restaurant. Well, I thought it was quite funny. I could understand the logic in it a bit. Anyway, with this mixed grill, I'm actually making a salsa verde, which is an Italian sort of green herb relish. And what I've got here is 50 grams of sourdough bread, which I've taken the crusts off. You must take the crusts off. And I've soaked it in 50 mils of milk for about five minutes. To that I add a couple of good handfuls of fresh herbs. In this case, what I've got, Italian parsley or flat leaf parsley. And I've also got some chervil. I like chervil, it's, good. it's a good, good herb. Really like it. We don't use it, do we? In fact, it's very hard to find. I, I spent ages trying to find some at the market. And to that, I add the juice of one lemon. You know, you can serve this with whatever you like. I, I just really like this herb relish. I think it goes really well with a mixed grill. My father used to love mixed grill, but I must admit, he used to smother it in Mr. Watty's finest tomato sauce. So he didn't ever quite get into anything fancy like salsa verde or even sauce bernays. I love sauce bernays, that'd be good with it, wouldn't it? Café de Paris butter would be nice. Oh, I'm going on now, aren't I? Getting all excited. One tablespoon of good quality Dijon mustard. Now, Dijon mustard from Dijon. Not from Mooney Ponds, from Dijon. And I've also got a couple of teaspoons of well-drained capers and about three anchovies. And we're just gonna whiz that up. To that we then add about 100 mils of olive oil, little by little. Now I'm not going to add any salt at this, I'm not going to add any salt at this stage because the anchovies and capers are salty. So we'll check it at the end. Now don't put all the olive oil in at once because you don't want it sloppy, so it may not all be needed. Now, while that's happening, my mixed grill. I've got some bacon here, nice thick cut of bacon, and I've also got some burger patties and some sausages. Now the sausages I've blanched just until they're firm, you know, in some simmering water. That's simmering, not boiling. And we'll just cook these. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking good. I don't think I'd add any more oil to that. Oh, that's nice. That really genuinely is bloody nice. Got a bit of piquancy to it, but it's not too tart. Mixed grill. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got these beautiful herby flavours in my mouth from that salsa verde. It is ripper. Now, as these things are cooked, just whip them off and we'll keep them warm while we cook the steak and the lamb chops. So I'm just waiting for the sausages now. Now I'll just salt my couple of pieces of eye fillet steak. Add a little bit of oil.
looking all right, isn't it? So I'm just putting those bits and pieces into the oven to keep hot while I finish off these because I cook these separately because I want them to be reasonably rare, medium rare anyway. Actually, Mr. Prentice, who chose the wine for me, he said to go with this, what we need is a nice McLaren Vale Cab Shiraz, which I've got a pepper jack here. And he said the reason that you have a Shiraz Cabernet, or Cabernet Shiraz, whichever you like, is because it's plummy and it's got lots of flavour and it'll make up for the fact that you're going to overcook the bloody mixed grill. That's what he said. Cheeky beggar. So I'm not overcooking the mixed grill. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to, but I'm going to watch this very carefully because after that comment, I better not overcook them, had I? We used to do, actually, at Tolano, which is one of my restaurants, we used to do an awful mixed grill which was very popular things like you know some kidneys on a skewer and twice cooked uh tongues ox tongue what else did we put on it some brains i think and there's something else i've completely forgotten but it was really really nice and very popular may i say now be a little careful because that lamb cutlet there is definitely ready and you're wondering what's in the microwave, but you'll find out. You'll find out. And this little bit of beef's here for me. Hmm. Beautiful. Let's start serving. This is for two, by the way. So if you're looking at it and thinking, by God, Hewitson's got very greedy in his old age. I have, but <laughs> it is for two. So what you do is you go into your deli and you ask for a two centimetre thick piece of streaky bacon. To go with that, some slow roasted mushrooms. Now you peel those and you put some olive oil and some seasoning on them. You slow cook them, about 160 degrees I did. Some sweet potato mash. Just some sweet potato which I boiled and then drained very, very well. Boiled in seasoned water, of course. And then just mash them with lots of butter and check the seasoning. So that's beautiful. And last but not least, a couple of nice big tomatoes. You can take the skin off if you like, because when you roast them slowly like that, you'll always end up being able to lift the skin off. Lots of this over the top, and I always just serve a bit extra on the side. All right, my friends, here we go. A wonderful mixed grill. Eat your heart out, Mr. Prentice. It is perfectly cooked, but I do like your wine suggestion to go with it. I really do. There we have it. Good stuff. Mm -hmm.